So hello, we have reached the exercise on reversing an integer. So we need to read an integer from the keyboard and then reverse it. So look well, I have this number. So when I am reversing it, I'm doing uh, some uh, stuff, some multiplications and some division. So for example, I have here the zero. So the zero, it's uh, it's it's uh, the remainder by ten, and I, it's it's here, but it's not visible. So we're doing uh, such stuff and then I, I should remove the zero so I should divide the number by uh, 10 and then again get the uh, remainder which is equal to 4 but however now I need to multiply the whole number so the remaining number by uh, 10 and uh, so on so I will work uh, slowly with that so let's start I need first a number so let's call it uh, x so I will ask the user to enter a number. So let's say that the number should be uh, positive. Uh, print f x. So in order to uh, work with the division and stuff, so scan f percentage d address of x. I will place it into a do while. So as long as x is different than zero, is less than zero, I would ask the user to enter a different number. So what I should do, so let's l uh, take this example again and see what I would do. So I just remove the zero here because in order to understand. So let's say three. So at the end, I will have three, uh, four, seven, nine, one. So what I will do is that I will get the three, this one. So and, and so on. So to get the three, I should do uh, the modulo. So let's get, uh, let's call it digit. So I, I would break it down. So digit. So in digit, I would place the x modulo 10. So this is the uh, digit. So this is the digit. What I should do with the digit? With the digit, I should uh, play, uh, add it to this output number. So let's call it this out. And in out, I would place out plus the digit so for now it's 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 an, an, uh, it's okay but for later it will be different so in out uh, before doing any loops because we need to loop over that so in out i would place a zero because i'm be adding so let's repeat in digit we are taking constantly the last digit so what i will do is that i will take the last one how by using the modulo and then i will add a three to that one but I will first I will add a 3 and then I need to multiply that so this one need to be changed and what I should do with the digit here what, what I should do with x so x I should remove the 3 so in x I would place x over 10 so in that I'm removing this one so for now I'm having this here and in out I'm having just 3 so after this one I'm having the number 1974, however, I still have 3. However, I need now to move 3, so it's now 30, not uh, not 3. So, And I will repeat till we reach the x equal to 0. So I will repeat, so um, I will say and I repeat that we are looping over the number n, x, sorry, and x I would always uh, uh, divide it by 10 until I reach the number uh, zero. So as long as x is different than zero, it means as long as x is greater than zero, I would uh, place in a digit uh, x modulo 10. So and in number, I would divide it by 10. However, here there's something which is not uh, uh, good. So what I would do here is that before summing this one, I would multiply uh, the uh, number uh, this by 10. So first out is equal to 0. So 0 multiple 10 would be equal to 0. And I will add the last digit, which is equal to 3. At the next iteration, so I have here 3. Till now. So I'm, I'm, I'm running. I'm doing the memory state. So we have 19473. We got the 3 and we'll place it. Here, so now out is equal to zero, and in out we will have a three. Then I would divide the number by ten. So this is it. So x 
it's still different than zero and i will get the digit which is the remainder of uh, of this number so it's equal to four so what i would do the out i will multiply it by 10 so it's 30 and i will add the digit so now we have 34 and then i will divide this number by 10 again so x is not is different than uh, zero so i will get the last digit which is equal to seven i will multiply out by 10 and I will add 7, it's 3, 4, 7. And I will divide it by 10. I will again, so 19, 19 is uh, different than 0. I will get the uh, last digit, which is equal to 9. I will multiply this by 0, by 10, and I will add 9, so, and then we'll divide it by 10. 1 is still different than 0. I will get the remainder by 10, which is equal to 1. I will multiply by 0, and then add 1, and then divide 1 by 0, which is equal to 0, and then, I will add so we can place directly x modulo 10 in place of this if you want to uh, reduce the number of variables that you are using mm. so we have stuff uh, like this so at the end we will have the reverse number so first we have 19743 and we ended with the reverse number so print f uh, number reversed would be equal to percentage d and would be equal to out so we have modified x so we cannot anymore print x so let's run it and say we have 19743 it's here enter okay <laughs> it's really nice to see print f and print f right so 19743 so the reverse one is 34791 so let me repeat quickly so what we have done is that we have read x and what we will do is that we want to uh, work with each digit of x so we are using the x modulo 10 and we are constructing the output so the output for each digit i'm i'm getting i need to multiply it by 10 so the last output i would multiply it by 10 and then add the remainder and as long as we go i need to decrease x so i'll divide it by 10 in order to reach x equal uh, to zero so this is not an easy exercise and uh, you need to uh, rewrite it review it and you can rewrite it also using a for loop so it's easy now and uh, if you have any questions do not hesitate to write to me and i will answer you back and again thanks for watching